So in the last video, we got to the point where we could navigate to someone's profile, but and it, whoops, and it was getting all the correct information, but it wasn't allowing us to view their post. So if I click on a post, it will crash. So we're going to fix that. It should crash. Yeah, we're going to fix that right now. So what we need to do is going to well. So it uses the on grid item selected listener. So we and what it does is that interface is implemented in profile activity, but so we just need to actually implement that interface because right now it's only um, being used by profile fragments. So we just need to add so on grid item selected listener for view profile fragment. So view profile fragment and implement the interface. And we don't need to change anything. It's going to use the same method. Everything is exactly the same and that should be good. So let's run it and try that again. Okay, so let's search uh, that user again, go to his profile, and now we're going to select an image. And there we go. Now we can actually look at that image. And if we press the back button, it takes us back. And yeah, so everything looks good there. Let's view that one. Maybe let's uh, post a comment. So, hey, nice photo to this person. Hit post. And there we go, we can see that a different user has now left their comment. So that looks like it's working the way it should. But that heart actually shouldn't be highlighted because Mitch, this, the user I'm currently logged in with actually doesn't like this photo. So let's head over into uh, view post fragment. And let's see here, down, go into the get likes string method. And let's see, right here. And this doesn't really make sense because right here what we're doing is we're taking uh, the users who like the photo, so these users, and we're saying if that contains the users, this is this is going to retrieve the use. This is the users, the photos users account setting. So whoever posted this photo, that's this user right here. So it doesn't really make sense to compare that. What we want to actually look at right here is like something like um, m current user. That's what we want. And so we need to retrieve the current user, the one who's logged in, and we want to compare it with his username. So let's create a new method. We'll just go down here and just do private void get current user. And it's just going to contain a query. Let me see if I can just steal one from somewhere. That looks like a good one, nice and small. So just stick that in there, and this is going to just get the current user. So we're going to go database name, we can just go database name users and look for the field user ID and just do Firebase auth get instance get user get UID and we're going to look for that user and then we'll set our selected user here or m current user equals the user class so let's create this current user object at the very top so variables private user m current user and that'll be good and then right when the we can actually call it an un on create here before the get like string method we need to definitely call it before that um, I don't know if it'll if the query will be finished by then and we'll try it so right here we'll go get current user and that will get the current user and then hopefully by the time get like string is executed, the current user will be retrieved and that should be okay. Alternatively, what we could do is call get current user and then put get like string inside that method. So I'm going to comment it out right there. Let's go down to our get current user method. And once this is complete and we have the user, then we can go get like string. So let's try that and see if that fixes our problem. Okay, and we'll press search. And go to Mitch's pro. It's Mitch, isn't it? Yeah, Mitch. And let's click on a photo. And there we go. So now it's liked by Mitch, and you notice that it's not liked by this current user. And there we go. Let's add a like, and it updates accordingly. And remove the like, and the like gets removed. Okay, looks like it's working the way we expect now. So now we can, let's go back to the profile. So uh, let's see here. 
this is what's oh, lagging out. Oh, it crashed. All right, let's see what we what we're dealing with here. Okay, so we're having that fragment not attached to activity issue again, and I have a solution. So before we do anything, basically, we're going to make sure that the fragment is actually attached to an activity. So we're going to go down below on create view and do private void init and take the whole query. So just taking the, well, basically the try catch and everything inside the query. We'll leave the heart gesture detector, set up Firebase auth and set up bottom navigation view. And we're going to put all that stuff inside of init right here. And now we're going to insert an override method. So control O and do uh, on resume. And then inside on resume, we'll do, we'll check to see if the fragment is added. So we can do is added. And then if it is added, then we call init. And that is how we'll do that. And that should solve our issue. So let's run that again and check to see if our fragment is still, or yeah, our fragment is not attached to an activity and causing a crash. Okay, go to search and type Mitch, click Mitch, and we can click on a photo, unlike it, like it, go to the comments, let's leave a comment, cool pick, post it, so that looks fine, let's go back and back and click another photo, and it looks good now, so it's not crashing, cool, so that should be fixed. Now let's go back to uh, view po no view profile fragment, and we want to get the users' posts, followers, and following. So we'll create methods for those situations. So the first one we'll do is I guess let's just do uh, get get followers. So private void get followers. Actually. We need to create a bunch of global variables first for the followers count, the following count, and the post count. So variables, we'll go private uh, integer followers. I guess just set it equal to zero. Private integer and following equals zero. And private integer posts equals zero. All right, now let's go back down to, what is this all red? Oh, I already have those variables. So we'll go followers count and we'll just like, add count to each one of these there we go okay let's go down to that method i just created wherever that is get followers right here so m follow followers count we'll set that equal to zero and now we can get a query so i can just grab this query right here i'm just going to copy this and paste that guy into here and change it to suit our needs so we're going to be looking, let's see, we get the reference and we're going to be looking in the followers node. So followers node, and we're going to look for the user's user ID. So we can get rid of this order by, and we're just going to use a child. So uh, m user get user ID is the one we're going to look for and add our listener. And if we do find something, so we can go found uh, follower and inside here we can do followers count follower followers followers count plus plus and then once that loop is complete we can go m followers no nope, followers set text and we want to set it to the count so string dot value of followers count Okay, so that should be good for getting the followers. And now I'm going to copy that method and we're going to do another one for get following. Oops. So copy that. Get followers, get following. And this is going to be follow, get following. And if you find, so we just go search the following node. And once again, get the user's ID just the same I think it's exactly the same yep yeah. and then down here we'll do m following count plus plus found following user and then set this and set this to follow following and make sure to change the count variable right up there. So we have get followers, get following, 
And I'll do one more for get posts. So I'm copying that one more time. And so get posts and post count and database name. Uh, which where is this gonna go? We can go user photos node, and then we can just do the same thing. Search for that user, and let's change this to get post count. Post count, post count, and same thing. So found post, and then m posts. Set text to post count. So following, following count, followers, followers count post post count uh, I think that's good so we can go up to the top and now call all those methods so let's go up to the very top here and we can do just right here actually yeah so get following get followers and then get post count I guess I could have changed these to count to keep it consistent count and count Let's go down and rename those. Get following count, get post count, get followers count. Okay, that should be good. Let's run it and see if we're getting the correct numbers. To the search screen. And we gotta fix, fix this navigation here too. It's uh, sticking on top of the keyboard for some reason. Okay, so three posts which is right we have three posts we have one follower which is also correct and we're not following anybody or this user isn't following anybody I believe that's correct because this the current user I'm logged in with is following this one so that should be good okay so let's fix that keyboard issue or this bottom navigation issue we can actually just go into the manifest and go into the activity which is uh, search activity right here and we can just add a property so we can go uh, window soft input mode and just do adjust nothing and that will take care of that issue and looking at this uh, looking at the profile here there's also another thing we forgot to do was add this top bar so I'm just gonna do that really quickly I'm gonna cop I'm gonna paste in the layout and just finish it really quick here so let's close the manifest close this close the manifest Oops. go to our layout which was layout or snippet so we have snippet top profile but we need to stop a snippet top view profile is what we're after here so let's uh, copy this and paste it into layout snippet top view profile oh we actually already have one. snippet top view profile oh that's view profile bar so snippet top profile bar copy that paste it and snippet top view profile bar is what we want to call this one and we just need to change this okay so I'm just going to paste in the layout basically all I did was add add a little back arrow so I'm just adding this back arrow right here and I'm going to close this layout now and go into uh, the fragment view profile so fragment view profile and go to the very top and this has got to get changed to snippet top view profile bar I don't know why it's not showing it should I'm just gonna try and rebuild it because it should be putting the bar it says right here layout below relative layout one and if you look in fragment view profile relative layout one is right here so it should be oh I see it's this right here below relative layout one there we go okay let's just quickly run that and make sure it's working correctly and we don't have our back button set up yet so maybe I'll just do that really quick so we need a back arrow widget so let's go up to image view and just do M back arrow and then inside on create, do m back arrow equals image view view find view by d id dot back arrow and then we'll go to our setup profile setup setup what is it setup profile widgets or something 
Oh, it's set profile widgets, set profile widgets. And inside here, we'll attach an onclick listener to our back button. So back arrow, set onclick listener, new onclick listener. And all we need to do is go navigating back and then get act, whoops, get activity, get support private manager and pop back stack and also get the activity and finish. Okay. Let's run it. Okay, to the search screen and search a user's profile. Got a crash. Uh, I'm guessing I attached that to the wrong ID or something. Profile menu. Uh, looks like the problem is in our snippet top view profile bar. So I'm going to close some of this stuff. So the other, the previous one we were using was snippet top profile bar. And as you can see, there's a little menu here. There isn't in the snippet top view profile. So we don't, we don't actually even need that in this view profile fragment. So I'm just going to delete it. So let's go to where the crash was, which was the setup toolbar method, this setup toolbar method. And I'm just going to delete everything because we don't need that menu option in this fragment. And let's go to the top, set up toolbar, delete that. And we can actually, wherever that is here, we can delete this toolbar stuff. There, okay. Now let's run that again. Okay, to the search screen. And notice the keyboard is good now too. There's no more bottom navigation view on the top. And that's good. So we have our back navigation correctly working. There's no menu up here, which we don't need anymore. And everything looks good. Well, we have the ability to follow now and to look at other people's photos, comment on them, like on them. Um, there's an issue with the back navigation right here. It goes to a blank screen, but I'm not going to fix that. I want to move on. And yeah, I think in the next one, we're ready to actually display the uh, objects in the main feed so we can look at the home fragment and start populating this with uh, photos from those that you're following. So I think we're ready to work on that in the next one. So I'll see you guys in that next video.